He, he's just going for a pee. <laughs> we'll wait. I think I can start without him, but he's going to walk in behind me. It's going to be weird. I, I'll, I'll start, and if he does walk in, we'll just phase it out. Um, if this should take seven and a half minutes if I don't cry. And if I do cry, it could be, uh, it could be anything. I don't know. Um, first and foremost, thank you all so much for being here today. Um, a special thanks to those of you who have had to travel far to attend. We had to pick between having the celebration here in California or in England. And we are very aware that many of you have had to spend a lot of money traveling hundreds, even thousands of miles to be here. And it really means a lot. Um, to the slight majority of you who haven't had to spend a lot of money getting here today, don't be afraid to keep those savings in mind <laughs> when making a donation to our honeymoon fund. <laughs> we wouldn't hold it against you, that's all I'm saying. Uh, I have joked with Sohi for months that it would be cute for me to learn... He's back. He's back. Good. Uh, there, there are other doors, but we'll go with that one. Um, but it would be cute for me to learn a few words in Korean to sprinkle into my speech. But I looked at the Korean alphabet, and I realized it wasn't going to be the easy task that I had hoped. So please forgive me um, for how much I will butcher this. Sohi shi kajok bundoge, chega chong yongal pyagi wi he so. Hanguga suabul mole dulugo. Yi je duria. Hanguga rul hao suit gateway a sumida. Chao me sohi shiwa, yone rul shi ja kessel de. Sohi shiga, hangug munhua a sunen. Weguginal saginen gosul. Anjoke bol suedago malhe juvasum nida. Guleso yolobundolul managi chone. Cholul pada de lisiji ana shilgawa. Chong mal muso sum nida. Krona chega tulit sum nida. Yorobunan cholul datu tan ma amulo maja juvisho sum nida. Yorobun dokbune johiga jigam yogi gaji ol suetso sum nida. Cholo selun kajo gui ilo nuro maja jusha so kamsa hago. Pyong seng gu nugu boda zohilo sarang hago agyo jolgoso yorobun apeso yakso of the limita. Kamsa hamida. For everyone who doesn't speak Korean, let's just pretend the pronunciation was perfect. Yeah, well, um, our relationship has been quite unconventional uh, due to the geographical distance between our two countries. Uh, we didn't really have the opportunity to start dating slowly to see how things went. Uh, a few years ago, when I left England, I told my family there was a girl I had feelings for and I needed to roll the dice and see if something special was there. So I packed one single suitcase, said some very emotional goodbyes, and left for America. I thought I was going to be here for one or two weeks, maybe a month tops if things went really, really well. But that was kind of the last they saw of me. I fell in love hard. And thanks to a whirlwind romance, added pandemic-related travel restrictions and incompatible visa restrictions, our relationship was expedited and we became inseparable, traveling from country to country to country just to make sure that we could stay together. And the more time we spent here in California, the more we built our lives here, making some amazing new friends and spending more time with so his family. And back in England, my old best friends and my family was still there, where it felt like my old life was still waiting for me. Although we are already married, today was super important for both of us because today is the first 
and the only day ever that all of you who we love from both sides of the pond and Canada will come together in one place. And it means the world to us that you are all here. So thank you for that. Um, I remember being 30 years old, sitting with my sister, having a heart to heart about life. And I told her that I would never get married. Weddings were very big, very expensive days, all for a single piece of paper that doesn't even really change anything about your relationship. I spent 32 years of my life feeling totally ambivalent about marriage. And then I met Sohi, and everything changed. I don't know whether it was her spontaneous dance bursts in the kitchen, her uninhibited, contagious laugh, or the most beautiful smile I have ever seen. But she made me feel things that I just don't know how to put into words. I immediately knew that this was something special. And unbeknownst to our families, we actually talked about getting married before we were even officially in a relationship. We hadn't been on our first proper date yet, and somehow we were still planning our lives together, talking about where we were going to live and what color tiles we would have in our kitchen. When we eventually told our families we were going to elope, it seemed like a rushed decision. Our families rightfully asked us for reassurance that we knew what we were doing. My family asked me if I was sure. But truth be told, I had never felt more sure about anything in my life. I had spent my entire life being a marriage skeptic. And then I met someone who turned all of that around in an instant. There was nothing I looked forward to more than marrying Sohi. Not just once, but twice. <laughs> uh, Sohi described our relationship brilliantly. A few months ago, we were lying in bed, holding hands, joking around like we normally do. And she said to me, do you remember when you were a kid? and you had a sleepover at a friend's house, and you just stayed up late, just giggling together. Well, every single day with you feels like that. Because she is not just my wife. She is my best friend. She is my happy place. She is the person who makes me laugh more than anyone else on the planet. The person who turned my entire life around in an instant and the person who makes me feel a type of love that I didn't even know existed. Marrying her is easily the single greatest achievement of my life. Marrying her is easily the single greatest achievement in my life. And I am honored to have the privilege of spending the rest of my years striving to be the husband that she deserves. Please do me the immense honor of raising your glasses to Sophie.